Hi guys! <laughs> welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. We would love you to join the Soul Tribe. So hit the bell icon, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe, and you will get notified when I post new content. To all my A1 Day 1s, my newbies, and my in-betweens, I hope you've had a beautiful night, and let's tap in. Ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and ask for a clear, precise channel message for those who are watching me right now. Remember to put yourself where you belong, okay? Don't shoot the messenger, I'm just that, the messenger, okay? Only take what resonates to you and leave the rest for somebody it does. Ancestors, close any other door other than the highest white light. And let's tap in, let's see what's going on for you guys. <laughs> Remember, every day is a new day, so let's start this day with a bang. <laughs> Ancestors, what are we diving into with the Major Arcana? What's the overall energy for today's reading? Let me know in the comment section after the live premiere where you're from, okay? I love, I love when I interact with you guys and just interact back, okay? So, Ancestors, what's going on here? Bottom of the deck is the Emperor with the high priestess there is a masculine doesn't have to be but someone who is a boss a ceo independent contractor of their own life this could be you take it as it resonates but they see you as very intuitive they see you're tapped right in honestly is what it comes down to you could be this boss and you're using your gifts to monetize to stand in your power because nobody's helping you so you put it where it fits, okay? But it looks like somebody is about to take the lead towards this high priestess, and we're going to see what's going on here. Ancestors, what's going on here? It's the Knight of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody is definitely coming in as a knight in shining armor. They're following their heart, this emperor. And their heart is leading them towards this high priestess who has the Book of Knowledge. Somebody has tapped into the Akashic Records and is using their intuition to follow their heart. Somebody is an artist and wants to express themselves artistically. They see you as very charming, psychic, and they want to come towards you with a lot of grace, okay? So they're trying to get some stamina to have this proposal of some kind. Could be for a job, could be for love, could be just for friendship. Take it as it resonates, guys. Hey, Tazzy. <laughs> my Tazzy. He follows me everywhere. I love my little puppy. <laughs> He's my best friend. So it's the Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody is feeling hollow. Could be somebody from your past. Friends, family, acquaintances. Somebody is feeling empty because there's this emperor coming in towards you. Ancestors, what's going on here? It's the magician in reverse. This family has tried to use magic, manipulation, or some kind of bullshit, just to try to keep you away from somebody. Now they're the ones who are feeling hollow, left out from the kingdom, from your kingdom. Somebody's building an empire. You're building an empire and somebody can't come in. Why? Because they uh, planned to really assassinate your character. What the fuck? The lovers in reverse. You see what I mean? To make sure that you didn't have uh, some kind of love interest come in. So you were stuck in some kind of karmic cycle. Somebody, this family tried to mislead you with values. Tried to make you play their fucking life. Oh my God. Yeah, six of coins. But you got some kind of generosity coming in. Now, as that emperor, you always feel like there's nobody there to like, you know, cater to your needs or help you out. Ask you if you're okay because you're the giver, right? But somebody's coming in, six of pentacles, to give to you reciprocity. You may not know what this 420 on my clock so somebody may want to come and smoke a joint with you um you may not expect this okay but there is equal value here you are going to be valued but you have to let go of some kind of past uh relationship okay friends family acquaintances they don't care about you no matter how much they pretend to it's just that a pretend it's an image and you have to think beyond what you're seeing like, you have to feel. What do you feel? Okay? Ace of Wands in the upright. You have passion and new beginning. And your family 
is really upset about this and doesn't want you to have this and is going to say whatever they want to say to try to jeopardize this love. But you, you love who you love. Somebody wanted you to have trust issues and be disharmon uh, have disharmony and not be able to give and receive. But you have this passionate and brand new start. Three of Cups. Somebody's coming in to celebrate with you. The fact that you got out of this hollow feeling and this trapped feeling of what your family, friends, whatever environment that was very toxic for. Yeah, it's a man of coins. You are enough. You are enough. You're single, self-sufficient, independent. You're standing on your own. And you deserve what's coming in for you, which is beautiful because your hard work is paying off and that hard work is allowing you to free yourself. Three of Cups. You are celebrating the fact that you got out of some kind of manipulation, some kind of jealousy of somebody close to you. I'm telling you, Eight of Cups, you walked away and you chose to stand on your own. Knowing that as the emperor, you don't have many people around you to help you. And that's okay. But there is some kind of social gathering. Somebody is going to invite you to some kind of party or some kind of reunion of some sorts. It could have some kind of collaboration with art. Okay, so this could be for work. Somebody may see you as an artist. And your family has tried to stifle whatever you are trying to create. But you're building an empire and these people are not allowed in your kingdom. It is what it is. Sun. God creator source is protecting you. These people are not allowed in your life anymore. They can keep trying to breadcrumb you, but you see it for what it is. <clears throat> they have misled values, misguided information, and they're very imbalanced. So you have to disconnect from this. The trust issue lies within your family. Of course, you're not going to trust the relationship because you don't trust your family. And that's all you've known. So you have to reprogram your mind. And God, creator, source, Ra, the sun god, is helping you. You have this radiant energy. And you chose happiness over mediocrity. Chariot. <laughs> and somebody is coming towards you. You are nothing like the people around you. And thank the Lord for that. Because honestly, they're... They have no willpower. They have no strength. It's all facade. It's all fake. It's all an image. And you're moving forward with crazy determination and willpower because you have the strength to do so. You're about to travel because you focused on what you needed to do. And what you needed to do was grow, heal, and evolve. And you did just that. And ancestors want to give you a big fucking hug. Four of swords in reverse because you have conquered something. Now, somebody may be stuck. Because they try to ghost you. They wanted you to feel bankrupt, emotionally burnt out, so that this way you wouldn't tap into this new beginning, this creativity. But what they did was they ended up rejecting themselves. Now, they're the ones who are stuck trying to live vicariously through other people, and that's not fucking working. High priestess in reverse. Somebody is very insecure because you see them as devilish. You see them as very codependent, and they don't use their intuition. So they're insecure with you. It's like this emperor has had a choice or you have a choice to be to go of the light, to go of the dark, right? So somebody chose environment, friends, family, acquaintances, mother, sister, brother, cousin, auntie, who the fuck knows? Somebody was uh, keeping them from their own intuition, keeping you, my beautiful collector, from your own intuition. So that this way, that's clarification, you'd feel disconnected. Lance is uh, commenting on my Facebook. So you'd feel disconnected from your soul tribe, people who actually validate you and see you for who you are. You see this person as missing information. They only, they, they believe whatever the fuck they hear. They believe whatever the fuck they make up in the dark. And they keep a lot of shit in the dark. This person's got a lot of skeletons in their closet. And they have been trying to keep somebody stuck with magic and manipulation as well as you, the lovers is there. So they're trying to misguide people with information so that this way people don't come towards you or so that this way you will disconnect from a lover. So say this is like a mother figure, okay? And they're going to put their misguided information on you and you're going to end up leaving your husband. So don't do that. Listen, have your own fucking mind. You love who you love, love who you love, guys. You're, gonna about, to, you're about to celebrate something that, oh, wow. Wow, Ace of Cups. 
you're about to celebrate love, guys, because you have it to give. 101 on my clock. I mean, 1001 on my clock. You see? Somebody's getting that information. You have this romantic energy coming in. New romance. This flowing of energy. You are good enough, and you're not supposed to be alone, guys. So, temperance angel in reverse with the two of coins in reverse. You see the imbalanced energies. You know somebody is coming up against you only because they're insecure with their own lives. They hate their life. They truly hate their life, but to the external world, they are loving. They're not transparent whatsoever. What they are is fake and phony. Justice in reverse. They try to cause you injustice because that's what they, they believe you deserve. This person is sitting in a lot of guilt and shame and they're blaming you because you got judgment. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, 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 da. I'm telling you guys, you are good enough and you've always been good enough. You are the earth angel and somebody feels insecure and intimidated and in competition with you. And while you just defeated them, ancestors are bringing in something beautiful and you see that they're imbalanced. They're never going to give you the love that you deserve. And somebody is very, very intimidated. They do not want this emperor or to come in or they don't want you to stand as an emperor energy. You could be a female, like a, a, male, a female king, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but somebody is really upset that somebody is about to give you equal give and take. Yeah, somebody from your past life, excuse me. So these people are from your past life. You have a, a lot, you have conquered something in your past life. It says you have known this person before and it it is a soulmate from the past life from a past lifetime. So this person that's coming in that may have been on the fence with you because of manipulation and magic is seeing you and seeing all the past life experiences that they have went through with you and is now really reminiscing and learning to put themselves first. Not letting external world third parties interfere. It doesn't matter who it is. For fuck's sakes, it could be a cat that's interfering in your fucking relationship. Do you see what I mean? You have to learn to compromise. It says loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. So this person, this emperor, I really do feel it is an external energy is coming in. They try to pre-manifest your destiny or somebody around them tried to pre-manifest your destiny and ended up putting them in a situation of hollowness. Like I said yesterday, you know, somebody is in a chokehold right now because of all the, the work that they did with the shadow people. They have to pay the consequences for their actions. And that third party knows that it's an unbreakable love that you share with somebody. You love who you love, guys. This emperor loves who they love. And they love you because of your intuition, your power, your knowing, your mystery. But they also thought that somebody had the same gifts as you, but it was all an illusion. It only brought them more anxiety, more self-indulgence. That's how they know that person is not right for them because the person who is right for them is going to put them in line. And he's going to tell them when they're fucking being an idiot. This is what it is, guys. So, this person has genuine love for you. You can overcome any issue that may arise. Now, somebody is telling you that you cannot overcome any issue. As that emperor, you don't have anybody on the top, okay? So, you can overcome whatever situation you're in. You just have to let go of this codependency or this feeling of lack like that not good enough right you are good enough it doesn't matter about what you have guys it's about your morals integrity and dignity and we make mistakes we can always change just so long as you don't keep making those same mistakes those misaligned values this is why we have to learn to be patient everything comes in due time it says you will attract love by enjoying life as it is whether you are wherever you are be all there. Do you see what I mean? Now, somebody doesn't want to be all there where they are. And you are just... That, that's why somebody's looking at you like you have everything. Like you're... You're very blessed. And you are. You are very blessed. 
But it's because of your patience. Because you have this unbreakable love inside of yourself, you're able to put yourself first and allow the past life experiences to be what they are. Learning tools, lessons, catalysts. And somebody from your past is really upset that you've learned these major life lessons in order for you to stand sovereign, independent by yourself and to be able to forgive and release. Telling you everybody has an opportunity to change. We all deserve love, and you love who you love. Don't let nobody tell you differently, guys, okay? So it says, you are stronger than you, you are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. So somebody wants to get under your skin so you walk around with so much resentment, but that's because they are so dark, and they got no motherfucking life. They pretend to have a life, but as soon as they're behind closed doors, that's when the mask comes off, and you see how really evil and malicious somebody is. So let go of the need to control. See, you're letting go of the people who have a need to control you. One, five, five, five on my clock. I'm telling you, you're standing sovereign, making major changes all around the board. Because you're letting go of the control issues. You don't want to control nobody and you definitely don't want to be fucking controlled. You will call it as it is. You're not all love and light. You're not nice. You're a kind, good-hearted person. That's a big fucking difference. Kind has got, nice has gotten you hurt, disrespected, alienated, and walked on like a fucking doormat. So if people don't like the truth, well, then you need to tell them to be wise. Talk nice to me or don't talk to me at all. It is what it is. Because I ain't going to play, and neither are you, my beautiful collective. So you are stronger when you forgive. So don't let that mediocrity eat up at you, okay? You know that somebody is just a controlling Jezebel. Doesn't matter if they don't have to be for them streets and a hoe, guys. They've just got that energy of, look at the definition of the Jezebel, all right? A lot of situations will unfold naturally. Somebody doesn't want this situation to unfold naturally so they're trying to do whatever they can unnaturally to try to play god in your motherfucking life but the sun is there god though creator though see the universe though <laughs> my ancestors <laughs> see can't fuck with source someone's really fucked up because you are who you are and you stand on that ten toes down you don't give a flying fuck <laughs> it is what it is and you have a beautiful love that's gonna love you cherish you and and love that dirty mouth of yours <laughs> It is what it is, guys. We're all just stardust. See? We're all just stardust. There is no competition. None whatsoever. You're not in competition with nobody from your past. You're not in competition with nobody from your future. You're not in competition with nobody in your present. The only person you're in competition with is the person you look at in the mirror, the person you were yesterday. And somebody is very insecure because you are tapped into the universe. You are a galactic truth sp speaker. You spit fire. You be dropping bars and the truth 100%. That's why people come to you, because you are a truth speaker. They want to know the truth, they come to you. Because you are the phoenix who rose from the ashes. You were supposed to be long, long, long time ago, but you are not. And you're here for a reason, okay? How's that for a happily ever after? Boom, baby, right in the motherfucking face. You got this. So you say peace the fuck out and you go on a new voyage. You see how my ancestors are? Awesome sauce. <laughs> That's exactly what you, you got that sauce. You got the fucking secret recipe, guys. You already have all the answers. So you're choosing to go on a new journey and these people from your past know that you're gonna go on a new journey and you're gonna diss and dismiss them as like a you know you don't you need these people like a fucking hole in the head i'm telling you you don't need them they want you to feel like you need them you don't need them all, all you ever get is nonsense from them big open the fucking headache <laughs> look it's a shark someone's coming in guys it says, swim away from this situation. I'm telling you, somebody's coming in just to fuck up your fucking day. And guess what? You're just like, go play over there with the little children in the sandbox. Because you can't play over here in my clean ass energy. Go sit over there in the kitty litter. Because that's where they belong. Somebody is a shark in your fucking energy and trying to slay you. When they're just going to end up getting slayed on their own. Because you're choosing to have a voyage. You're Phoenix Rising. So you're letting go of the control issues. And you're tapping into the universal law. 
And if somebody doesn't believe in that universal law, it's irrelevant. The universe believes in you. So, we have to pay the consequences for our actions. It is what it is. You know, we may have free will, but we don't have free will to pay for the consequences. And somebody is realizing this. Your strength and will is undeniable. And very soon something is coming in. Some kind of love that's going to, like, oh my God, my knees just like almost buckled. Just the thought of it. Somebody kissing me on the back of my neck. Ooh, that's like my spot. Oh, shit. <laughs> True love. Something is completely unbreakable, guys. You love who you love. <laughs> love who you love. Maybe a new person, maybe an old person. Who knows? But you love who you love. And somebody doesn't love you. Oh, somebody's mad that you uh, have healed. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now. <laughs> And it says, this is the romance of a lifetime, guys. You belong. It says, may you welcome yourself home. So you're welcoming this true love back home or home to source. I'm telling you, you had past life with this person. So it's going to feel like you already know this person. You've already known this person all your life. And journey. You are going on a new journey, guys. Be grateful that you were able to persevere and get over this dilemma of people trying to keep you blocked and stop you from love. They didn't stop you from shit. <laughs> love is internally, guys. You just had to see it for what it was. Eliminate yourself and know that you are enough so you can stand up for what you deserve. Work hard to free yourself and know your self-worth. That's what you chose to do. Journey. May you see, seek adventure. So somebody's about to seek adventure. You're about to seek adventure. Go on a new path. Somebody's about to sweep you up off your motherfucking feet. But be careful, okay, guys? Don't be um, delusional. Okay? So hope. Help other people evolve. Somebody wants to help you evolve. They see that you've been stuck in a rock limbo for a little while because of your external energies. Friends, family, acquaintances, probably an ex. Take it as it resonates. Baby daddy, baby mama, who knows? But... Somebody knows you've been working very, very hard and you deserve nothing but the best. So may the horizon always sustain you. Ancestors, spirit guides, because you help other people evolve, the horizon's always going to be able to sustain you. You're always going to be able to be okay. And somebody hates that about you. Says, I wonder what will happen next. So you're curious. Somebody's curious as to what's going to happen next because they know they can't stop you. They know they can't make you... Uh, look at somebody differently they know how you feel about somebody and it's mortality on my floor so somebody is mortal and they're upset with you because you are immortal you have created something that will last forever because you are a message of a rabbit okay so somebody's about to message you now you are the messenger okay it says service to animal world you are a service to the world. This is why you are immortal. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. And somebody is mortal. So they're just going to, you know, fade off into the sunset and die off like the dinosaurs. You see what I mean? These fucking low vibrational karmic energies that don't want to see you do good are the ones who are going to be dead and extinct soon. So just let them be. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is says life is brief bright beautiful and yours yours to live so if somebody's trying to control you they're the ones who are gonna just get stuck do you see what i mean life is yours to live you have the paintbrush it's a blank new canvas paint a beautiful picture it's the new chapter you have the pen write a new story for yourself and make sure that you don't include these fucking low vibrational energies who clearly try to keep you stuck every which way you turn Check your timeline. You will see who it is, and then you will be able to eliminate it, guys, okay? So, remember, it's a time for social gathering, but don't gather with people who are going to talk shit. Okay, put it this way. If somebody's talking shit about somebody at the fucking table, believe me, when you get up, that person going to be talking shit about you. It is what it is. Somebody's coming in to be really fucking intimate with you. They want to take you on a date. Somebody is the phoenix rising as well. And how is that for a happily ever after? <laughs> That's what it says. Look, somebody's going to be really mad because look, how is that for a happily ever after? 
Boom. Yeah. You're on a new voyage, guys, and all the answers lie within you. You don't need the external world's validations. You know exactly what you need to do, and there's a wedding coming in. Wedding rings. Somebody's going to propose to you. I told you somebody wants to put something on the table. They might be a little bit nervous. Could be a job, or it could be a wedding, a union, a marriage, soul contract, everlasting love and devotion. Somebody loves you and wants to spend the rest of your life, their life with you, and you're going to say yes. You're going to say yes, because... You're the phoenix rising and it's time for you to rise from the ashes. You felt what it felt like to be burning in the own pits of your own despair and you dragged yourself out of that pit. And somebody else dragged themselves out of their own pit as well as going to meet you where you are as you are going to meet them where you are, where they are. This is a beautiful, timeless relationship that's coming in. And what is this? It's the king of coins. So this could be somebody who has money. This could be somebody who has uh, some kind of, his ultimate provider is what it comes down to, okay? And somebody sees you as an ultimate provider as well. It's like you, when one is falling back, the other can pick up. It's like nobody judges anybody in the relationship. You do what you can. Very successful, grounding individual. The both of you are very stable and secure in your own right, and you work very hard. And this person is going to help you financially. You're going to help them financially. You're going to build together. It is what it is. That's what a relationship, partnership, and marriage is all about. And look, you have a secret admirer. Somebody is not, it says, uh, timid. So somebody is making, not making themselves known, but they're about to make themselves known. Could be the emperor. Could be a king of coins. Could be the same person. Take it as it resonates. You could be one of those people. But somebody doesn't want something to be dead. They're scared. And they're afraid to come in because of the intimacy. Somebody's uh, scared of intimacy. Like they're scared of really, really loving somebody because when you love somebody, it can you can lose them. That's the one thing about love. You have to trust in faith and, and put your life in their hands and know that in an instant it can be taken. That's love. You have to have faith. And you have faith. And there's this bond coming in. There is a second chance. This is no second chances, but it's in reverse. You're getting a second chance. Somebody's getting a second chance. They're just scared because they have to swim away from a situation that is keeping them binded. It could be drugs, sex, violence, family. But this is true love, and somebody's scared of fucking true love. They're scared to belong because, like I said, if they get comfortable, it can be taken away from them. And that's scary. Abundance, but they see you as abundant. They see this relationship as abundant. They have this positive mind. They're willing, willing to manifest. They have gratitude and bliss and blessings. And they want to give you safety and comfort. They want safety and comfort. And the only way they can do this is to go on a new journey and to seek adventure somewhere else. Away from this girl with a snake. Somebody was around. Somebody who's a fucking snake. Charmed and used them. Enabled them. And now they have to set boundaries. Somebody wants to feel safe, but there's this chaos-causing person in the background who's doing magic and manipulation to keep somebody stuck and disconnected. Heart of the death on this. Yeah, look. Somebody needs to really get their mind right because somebody was very overindulging. And now they need to have some self-appreciation and do the, the shadow work because they were playing in the shadow people for too long. I'm telling you, Anubis is really tallying up all the shit that people have been doing in the background, using that knowledge that people think they know against them. People don't know shit. There is a fucking law of the universe. If people don't follow the rules and the laws, they have to pay the consequences, and somebody is paying the consequences. It's like they're dying slowly internally. Wow, they could be looking like a walking motherfucking zombie. Got pale skin, looking gray, skinny, 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 or overweight. Take it as it resonates. But there's something internally wrong with them. Could be thyroid, could be... It's just a demon eating themselves up is what it comes down to. Rainbow, take a chance on them. Now you're taking a chance on somebody because you know that somebody has been doing a lot of dark stuff to them to keep them trapped. So you're taking a chance on somebody and you're choosing to... Um, let them come underneath your umbrella. 
<laughs> that song by Rihanna, Umbrella, is in my head. So yeah, Umbrella, Universe. Because you have the universe. You, We're all stardust. Nobody is in competition here. And somebody was in competition with you, but then trying to keep somebody stuck. Not just you stuck, but somebody else stuck. In some kind of relationship or marriage, perhaps. But this husband is coming towards you. Social media, keeping tabs. Somebody's been keeping tabs on you in social media. And they're not saying anything because they're hoping that you're going to say something to them. But that's not how it works. It's not how it works at all. No action or movement. Yeah, somebody's not doing anything. A new beginning. It says, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. See, somebody needs to live vicariously through their motherfucking self. <laughs> live. Learn and love, okay, guys? Because the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new opportunities. A new path is now available. Follow it with faith. You love who you love. It's time to follow it with faith and embrace new opportunities that Tsunkoi Dizuga Creator brings to you, okay? Use your discernment. Through each other, you find the missing piece. There's something you feel missing. And it's time, power. Okay, these are the ones that are being shown. Embrace. You, you, you're missing the feeling of embrace. Like I said, it's been like over two years since I actually had someone. Like, honestly, the last time I really had an orgasm was almost three and a half years. Like, it's a long time. Like, a long, long time. That's why I didn't stay with that placeholder, because he never made me come. Uh, maybe it's a little TMA, but it is what it is, guys. You're choosing to embrace your truth. You know, it's sexuality is very important in a relationship and you have to be able to be open with your sexuality and, and communicate, you know, because sexual health is very important. And we're adults. If you can't talk about sex, then why the fuck are you having it? It is what it is, guys. So, time. It says you're trying too hard. Give it time. So you're choosing to take time for yourself to evaluate, to have abundance, change your po mindset to a positive because yes we're all scared guys even if like me like i face my fears but that doesn't mean that i'm not scared while i'm doing it it just means that uh, i face it I'm, I'm always scared but i face it you see what i mean so give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires you see what i mean somebody's coming in to show you that you deserve everything your heart truly desires and you just need to be patient to forgive to let go of the control because there's an unbreakable love here but you have to put yourself first and it says the power once you come together it's you're going to tap into this endless power but there's a snake being wrapped around this energy like this third party trying to wrap around this energy so that this way you don't Allow this person to come in, you'll be closed off to love, and you'll stay by yourself. This is manipulation and magic, guys, at its finest. You are, uh, you uh, instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no and walk away at any time. This is what somebody did not want you to know, or somebody to know, that you have the power to walk away at any time. But somebody didn't want you to walk away. But you have so much balance, and you're showing somebody else to have balance. And the bond is unbreakable, okay? So look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So ask yourself, why are you scared of love? Why are you scared of something good? Maybe because you've never gotten anything good. It's always You've always got the shitty end of the stick. So when something good happens, you're like, is this real? Do you see what I mean? So you've got to reprogram your mind because there's not, you know, there's 8 billion people in this world. Not everybody's a fucking dick. <sighs> so... Love who you love and take a chance on somebody. Let them sit underneath your umbrella, okay? And get some rest away from that rain because you are the healer. You are somebody's light. You are the lighthouse. Somebody is being led towards you and they are open to compromise. This is relationship. This is real love. It's not always going to be peaches and cream, rainbows and butterflies, love and light, guys. But somebody loves you and they want you to love them. So let them come. Let them 
express themselves. Let them prove to you that they are a changed individual or that they truly love you or that they want to be in your life. Friends, family, acquaintances, a lover, it's irrelevant. They know how to treat you. And a man is very simple, very, very simple. They will treat you how they, they feel. It is what it is. So pay attention to people's actions, okay? I think we should see each other. This is why you're choosing to, you know, let people from your past go. Love is liberating. If they want to be somewhere else, let them be somewhere else. You want them to be happy. As these people should want you to be happy, but they don't. They want you to stay stuck. But you're ready for new things. You're ready to start something new with that zero. You're taking that little leap of faith with the fool card with that zero. Because you are so fucking very special to somebody. You deserve nothing but the best. And that's why a lot of people have tried to put you down. Make you feel like you weren't good enough. But you're more than good enough. <laughs> you're, in these people's eyes, you're too good. So they want to put you down. You know, put you in your place like a child. You're not a child anymore. Not at all. And that's what's causing a major tower in people's lives because you are walking karma. You don't have to do anything. These people are doing it to you. Inevitably, the ancestors take care of it. I'm telling you, you're protected on a whole nother level and it's got somebody in a fucking depression because they're having to pay the consequences for their actions. And you're giving thanks for the blessings that aren't even here yet. This is how fucking, how much you trust in the universe because you walk it like you talk it the strength <laughs> you walk it like you fucking talk it guys see what i mean you got the strength to persevere you've been through these towers you found the inner strength in those towers hangman in reverse somebody tried to keep you stuck and stagnant it is what it is they wanted to be detached from your purpose so that they can I don't know, get some kind of cloud off of that. I don't know. It is what it is. But you are courageous and you are influenced. And these people ain't shit. I said what I said. They ain't shit. And they're jealous. They did all of this because they're fucking peanut butter and jelly with no fucking milk. Their mouth is pasty. So every time they open their mouth to fucking call you down or say anything, it just gets... Because they just be seen as a fucking jealous creep. All up in the feelings. These card narcs are getting caught up. <laughs> and you got love coming in so if these narcs think that they can control you because they're jealous you're still gonna be chilling still gonna be chilling they're still gonna be in their feelings and you're still not gonna give two flying fucks about this devil this codependent capricorn because you're choosing to end the fucking cycles it is what it is, guys. You got hope. You're helping other people evolve. And if people don't like it, well, the heart of the deck says it's time for love. So it's too fucking bad for them. It is what it is. Let's get some more juice, guys. Yeah, because you got somebody loyal coming in because you are loyal and somebody sees you as very loyal. This is why you're taking a chance on somebody and somebody's about to take a chance on you. But just be patient, okay? Because the universe is like creating something just for you look see somebody wants to put a ring on it they want you forever always only you and they're going to be very loyal why because they see you as lucky you are lucky i'm telling you you are lucky and it's because you were able to get out of this manipulation you were able to <sighs> defeat the spiritual warfare now somebody wants to rest because they've been in war for a long time. They don't want to be in war no more. You don't want to be in war no more. You don't want to live on spiritual, I mean, um, survival mode. So you're resting. This sister is fucking homeless. Mentally bankrupt. Emotionally bankrupt. Spiritual bankrupt. Or financially bankrupt. They ain't got shit. To... That's karma. Why? Heart of the deck. Because it's a new world. Can't be going around fucking people's love offers over. you got a love offer and that's going to bring you an upgrade and somebody's going to be salty. Like I said, I am an intuitive reader. They're going to hate on you, but the haters don't fucking count. Why? Because you see them as who they are. They've set you up the whole time. This could even be somebody really fucking close to you who's just jealous of you and everything you've got and the fact that you have morals, integrity, and dignity and you don't need to be half naked or fucking suck up on people to get any validations. Nope. You're living a good life all by your motherfucking self. And somebody is upset because they're over-sexual. And your soulmate sees you as very dangerous and is about to come approach you because it's a divine timing that this happened. Somebody misses your food and what you fed them because they're stuck on stupid. 
somebody try to keep you stuck and try to keep somebody that you adore and love stuck. And well, the haters are going to hate, guys. But they can't grow shit in that kind of environment with that kind of mentality because they're all stuck on drugs, stuck on stupid. It is what it is. And they're mad that you're the bag. You don't need them for shit. You never did. You have the stability. And together, you are going to build a beautiful empire and transform. You got the butterfly and the moth coming together, the light and the dark. Somebody adores you and they're bored of their life. You're bored of their... You're bored of your past, and in this full moon, somebody's seeing you for who you are, and somebody's seeing somebody else for who they were. Yeah, somebody tried to play games with your gifts, tried to play with your fucking intelligence, and all that did was push you further away and manifest your beautiful energy. I'm telling you, these people send you dark shit. You end up building with those fucking stones they throw to you. I'm telling you, look, these people are going through hell, and they wanted you to go through hell, and you're sitting here. As a good mother, you know that it's your mother that's going through hell and is mad that you have love coming in. Somebody's mother's upset. They're trying to hold on to you, but all they're doing is keeping themselves stuck because they know that you are going to find peace. Because you are at peace, somebody is going through hell. The fuck kind of shit is that? It is what it is. Look, see, it's about greed. It's always been about money. And that's why you're closed off from these individuals because they're Jezebels. And you're getting the victory from these Jezebels because you manifested a beautiful life through self-care. I love you guys. Stay blessed. One love. I hope this resonates. I hope this gave you some clarity today. You're ready for something new. So you love who you love. Let love come in. Okay, guys? Because this divine masculine, he loves you because you're the star. And there's healing coming in. Okay? So one love. Stay blessed. Let's get one affirmation for you guys. And it's look. It's self-love. It says, I attune to my needs by listening to my heart. My inner essence lets me know what is good for me, and I respect my limits. I answer the request of my body, my soul. Thus, I learn to love myself. So free yourself, guys. Free your mind, and the rest will follow. Don't be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. Bye.